Hello again. So the good folks at Evolution have sent me a new toy to try to see what I think. And it is the Evolution 305 disc cutter. Here we have a box. With a big disc. One in the box. And a big <laughs> disc cutter. So, I'm going to find some things to cut, see what it does, and um, see what to make of it. I can say. It looks quite cool, bit of a lump, and I am curious as to how big a problem it is or isn't that you have to have dust extraction on it rather than water, because it could be a problem, it could be a pain in the ass. We'll see. Having played about with it, I realised it cuts as well as any petrol saw. It's a lot cheaper, a lot. But the thing is, does that matter if you can't actually use it because you can't put water suppression on it? Dust extraction is key. How good can you make that dust extraction? That's the thing. So I've seen a couple of videos about making cyclone separators out of old bits of Dysons and uh, old bins, basically, bins or drums, and I'd happen to have both of those things about. So I thought I'll make myself one up and see if I can make this work, see if I can work it out. I took the back of the Dyson, I cut down through the intake and outlet pipes, which I guess is the vacuum and from the nozzle pipes then, cut right through that, that fits and seals onto the, the yellow cyclone and the transparent drum part of it then. Um, I took off the flap at the bottom that you used to empty it and I taped that centre bit um, because that is normally bunged up. I taped it down to the lid of the bin with some Gorilla Tape, awesome stuff, and I put holes into the two pipes so that you could put the hoover into it. I also, which I haven't showed you, cut through the bottom of the lid into the centre of the transparent receiver part so that there was a hole all the way down through. Taped on another bit of pipe, and on the grey pipe I also taped on the flexi pipe to go to the saw itself. Sounds overcomplicated, but you'll see it in a second, and it's just cowboy stuff. It really is. This is just a matter of proof of concept type thing. Will it work at all? A little old Hoover that actually I realized afterwards didn't even have a filter in it, stuck into the back of the vacuum side of it, and then on the way out, those pipes go to the saw. Basically, just put that straight onto the port of the saw ideal it all fits it turned on and it seemed to draw dust thing is these things when they work right there is no dust sent back to the hoover or the vacuum shouldn't use the brand name to the vacuum because obviously brick dust concrete dust is just going to fill that filter right up and it's going to be no good whatsoever so my theory is that in a room this thing inside a building this thing could be brilliant and be a petrol one because there's no fumes so when I first started cutting, I figured use it, do it as though you would if you were cutting normally. You've got a mark on a block and you want to cut. So I did that and the trouble was it flung the dust straight past the vacuum port. Not all of it, but enough that it, in a room it would be no good. You can see the little cloud come off it there. Damn, no good. I thought, ah, oh, this is screwed before I start. But then I tried cutting from the front of the block or brick. And all of a sudden, there is no dust. It was working. So, I had thought that probably there should be two vacuums on it. And I'm not sure whether that will work or not. Whether it will just make the drum suck right in. Basically implode. Because one near enough does. Um, but, this is enough to say that it could work. And if it could, this saw could be really useful in a building. If you were cutting out a doorway, window, something like that, when you couldn't have a mess, it could be brilliant. So I'm going to do a little bit more experimentation. I'll record it and see how I get on. Most importantly, as far as I'm concerned, in the vacuum, there was no dust. 
it all stayed in the separator, which means what I made worked. Yay. So anyway, I'm going to keep on trying. Thanks for watching. Please check out some of my other videos. There's a bunch of them on here. Something might be of interest to you. Thanks. Uh, like, share and subscribe. And I will see you again soon. Cheers.